Okay, so wash sales, it's a big tax thing. It's not a violation. You just can't do it. So wash sales are when you sell stock for a loss. So you can, remember, you can write off losses, any kind of capital losses. You can use all of it against your capital gains and up to three grand against your ordinary income to reduce what you pay in taxes. But sometimes you can't do it. So in this case, we have this. Well, bought stock at 50. And then on December 15th, we sold it at 45. So what do you, what do you have here? We have a $5 loss, right? So depending on how much money that is, how many shares we have, we can use that loss to reduce our income, whether it's capital gains or ordinary income, three grand a year. Now, that's great. But before they do that, the IRS will look forward 30 days and back 30 days. And if you bought, if you bought the stock, bought a call, sold it deep in the money put, bought convertibles, bought warrants, bought rights, anything that would buy stock would be a violation of the loss sale, which means they will disallow the loss, which means, yes, you still lost the money, but you, can, you don't get to write it off your taxes. And how do they do that? How do they fix that? What they do is they will then take this stock. See here, you sold it on December 15th for a loss. You bought it back 25, 26 days later. How, I don't know how many days it is at 48. So what happens is you violated the wash sale rule. So they will say, okay, well, you didn't really buy it at 48. You paid 48, but according to the IRS, you actually paid 53. So boom, you don't have a loss anymore. Now you did lose this money. All this shit is gone, okay? You bought stock at 53, you don't have a loss, but, and you're like, wow, that sucks. I don't have to pay more money, but my new cost basis is 53 if I violated it. Now, in the future, when I do sell it, let's say I then sell the stock at 50. Say so then I will sell ABC at 50. If they didn't do this, well, then I'd have a $2 gain. But because I had a loss already, I'm going to have a $3 loss, right? So I technically bought it at 53 and I sold it at 50. So now I have a $3 loss on, the ta on my taxes, as opposed to having a $2 gain. It's not better. It's just, it's not like you can't take the loss ever. You just can't take it then but you can take it when you actually sell the shares and stay out of the position for 31 days. Thank you very much. Watch sale. You like what I'm doing? Check me out on YouTube, Capital Advantage Tutoring.